here's a recipe for mall pretzels from All Recipes member Jeannie Yi, who says, these are big chewy pretzels like those sold in the mall. Let's begin by activating the yeast. Into a large mixing bowl, add a quarter ounce package of active dry yeast. Add one and a half cups of warm water. The water should be between 110 and 115 degrees in order to activate the yeast. Add two tablespoons of brown sugar and mix this together. The sugar beads the yeast. Let the yeast proof, which could take up to 10 minutes. Once the yeast is activated, add three cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of bread flour, and one and an eighth teaspoons of salt. Mix the ingredients together. Sprinkle some flour on a clean surface and turn the dough out. Knead the dough for about eight minutes or until it's smooth and elastic. Grease a clean bowl with cooking spray and place the kneaded dough in the bowl, turning the dough to coat evenly. Cover the bowl with a damp towel and leave it in a warm place to rise for an hour. When the dough has almost finished rising, heat two cups of warm water to between 110 and 115 degrees. Add two tablespoons of baking soda. Stir. Pour the baking soda mixture into a medium pan with low sides and set it aside. Once the dough has risen, lightly flour your work surface. Turn the dough out and cut it into 12 equal pieces. Cut the dough into quarters and then cut each quarter into thirds. Roll each piece into a three-foot rope. Pencil thin or even thinner. Twist each rope into a pretzel shape. Dip each pretzel completely in the baking soda solution. And place the pretzels on four baking sheets lined with parchment paper. Once you've finished making 12 pretzels, let them rise for 15 to 20 minutes. While the pretzels are rising, preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Bake the pretzels in batches in the preheated oven for eight to 10 minutes or until they're golden brown. You might wanna rotate the baking sheets halfway to ensure that the pretzels bake evenly. While the pretzels bake, melt two tablespoons of butter and then brush the pretzels with the butter. Sprinkle them with coarse kosher salt. All Recipes member Jeannie Yi adds, you may substitute garlic salt or cinnamon sugar for the coarse salt if you wish.